Hello everyone, welcome back to another Purity series. It's so nice to have you again. My name is Adegbe Grace Messi. So last week we talked about fear, fear no more from the book of Psalms chapter 27 from verse 1. The Bible says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid of? This week we are going to be teaching from the book of Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 10. The Bible says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the understanding of the holy is knowledge so i would like us to know that there's a way to engage fear positively there's a way to engage and channel all the fear that the devil is instilling in our heart positively how do we engage fear positively how do we channel all the fear in our heart positively the only way we can channel the fear in our heart positively is to fear the lord the fear of the lord is submission to the sense of submission the sense of hope, a sense of no reference to God, the sense of you no know, acknowledging that God is God and He is God alone. The Bible says that He is the God yesterday, the same yesterday, today, and forever. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was God, and the Word was with God. So God Himself made the heavens and they're just the reference of knowing who God is, the reference, the submission to the to, you know, the knowledge of the knowing of God. This is one way we can submit and we can channel our fear positively. This is one way we can engage our fear positively. When the fear of the enemy comes, there's a way to, you know, channel it to the point where you can, you know, trust God. There's a way you can channel it up to the point that you can believe in God rather than, you know, dwelling in the fear that the enemy has dropped in your heart so there are three things that engaging fear positively will bring out the outcome are number one the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom according to the scriptures that we read if you would want the wisdom of god to be you know in abundance in your life if you would want the wisdom of God to guide your day-to-day -day activities, if you want the wisdom of God to lead you in the path that God wants you to lead you, walk you, if you want the wisdom of God to, you know, lead you, guide you through purpose, guide you through the journey of life, so that you can excel in this journey of life, then you actually need to fear God. That's where wisdom is acquired. The fear of the Lord brings wisdom. Just imagine this scenario of a father and a son, a father and a son relationship. You no, know, the son reference the father a lot, respect the father a lot, honors the father a lot. The father no longer hides anything from the son. Why? Because his heart is, you know, his heart is, you know, honored so much. He is honored so much up to the point that he can release everything, everything he has within him to the son. So that's the same way. How much more our heavenly father? Bible says that we can now cry out to him as our father. We can now cry out to him as our God. So God will in God will no longer hold back anything. God will no longer hold back wisdom from us. God will no longer hold, hold back anything that we need to journey through life. If we can submit to God in the place of reference, in the place of honor, in the place of you know, you know, total surrenderness total knowing, total obedience to God's destruction. So another outcome of the fear of the Lord is the, is the shield from sin. The Bible says the word that I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. So the fear of the Lord will shield us from sin. So the fear of the Lord, just like what happened to Joseph in the Bible, where Potiphar's wife told him, lay with me on the bed. And then the Bible says that Joseph said, that how can I do this and sin against God? So there was this fear that was instilled in him and that was the fear of God. He channeled it positively. So there's a way you can engage fear. When you are faced with that situation, that circumstance, when you want to do something, what will be the outcome of this? Will I hurt God? Will this thing make God unhappy? Will this thing make God sad? Will this thing make the effort of God coming to the world to die for our sins fruitless will this thing result in something that will make god happy so this is one way we can engage fear and when we engage fear positively it will help us and shield us from sin it will give us wisdom to be able to live what live this life according to the way god has designed it that's why the bible says that 
the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So anybody who needs wisdom, who walk in the fear of the Lord, would have the total reference of God in his heart. So lastly, before I go, the fear of the Lord will also grant you boldness to be able to evangelize. That Bible says we should go into the world and preach the gospel. If you engage fear negatively, you would not have the boldness and the confidence to be able to speak about Jesus. You will not have the boldness and the confidence to be able to preach about Jesus. So this is why the fear of the Lord needs to be instilled and this is why you must submit to the instructions of God so that you can acquire wisdom, so that you can be shielded from sin and so that you can go forth and preach the gospel. God is rooting for you and God wants you to do much more and wants you to live a glorified life. Thank you so much for watching this series. God bless you.